as drummers, we need a daily routine to get our arms warm and cover all of the essential techniques that we need to play drums. And specifically in this case is to play snare drum. My exercise I'll start with, I do this every day. Uh, I do it at a quarter note equals 95. And I find that's a good tempo uh, because when I get to faster passages, it covers that gray area uh, where I have to use multiple techniques at once. So if it's really slow, I'll just be using wrist, as you can see here in this opening legato passage. If it gets really fast, then I'm just using finger. And so I try to do it at a tempo where I'm covering some of these things where I have to use wrist with finger and for several of the techniques. Today, I'm playing these in 12 count phrases. And I may switch this up in maybe 15 and maybe 18, 21. Uh, but I will switch this up on a daily basis just to keep my brain working and so I don't go through this and just kind of fall asleep. That I'm making sure that I'm paying attention to getting consistent tones, consistent strokes, and uh, consistent pitch from hand to hand. You can see that I will play with one hand and I will drop the other. Uh, this is simply just to get blood flowing uh, as I warm up in the morning. And I go through these and kind of two phrases per hand. So I started with quarter notes to quarter note triplets. Then the next phrase is eighth notes and to eighth note quintuplets. The next phrase is eighth note triplets, then into the septuplets. And then I'll finish it out here, as you can see, with 16th notes. And by this point, I've moved from wrist to wrist and finger. And now I'm just using finger. And hopefully that that was a smooth uh, transition between all of the techniques. Next, I will go directly into two dynamic, or uh, if I were a rudimental drummer, I would be saying two height system. And here I will go through that same process. I'm doing it in six count phrases now. And I will go through all your downstroke, upstroke. And as I get faster here, you see that it transitions into a whip stroke. And the difference between your traditional upstroke and downstroke, where the beat of the stick is leading, I'm simply thinking that on that whip stroke that the note before the accent I'm going to lead with the back of the stick and I will lift. And so that gives me covering these whip strokes which I'll need for faster single stroke passages. I will also see, need them for um, certain flam passages. I will also need them for soft playing or even just certain drag figures like a four stroke rough.
once I go through this, I always come back to stick control, uh, the first page in the book. And I'm going through the first 13 lines because after those first 13 lines, you start seeing combinations of those. And again, here, this is kind of a gray area. You can see that I must use wrist and finger to stay relaxed and keep some of these single strokes, these repetitive strokes in one hand uh, to be able to successfully play them. Now, once I go through this, I will take a brief break. Usually, this is where I drink coffee, um, but for the purposes of this video, I moved on. Uh, next, we're working on hand-to-hand -hand, um, accent and unaccented patterns. And here, I simply add an eighth note of 16th note triplets, and then I will go through doing these with doubles. Uh, this ensures that I have time to focus on hand-to-hand -hand playing hand-to-hand -hand balance, and hand-to-hand -hand doubles and controlling them. And this one in particular here where you see that I'm doing uh, two notes in a row or three notes in a row with these right-left-left left figures and left-right-right right figures, I found that if I didn't isolate those, that sometimes that last note would be heavier than the other. So it gives me a chance to focus on that as well as learning to control the doubles. last thing that I do for my warm-up is a moving accent pattern uh, within a flam accent. I find that this kind of covers all these essential motions that I need for my playing. I've got downstrokes, I've got finger strokes, I've got upstrokes, I've got whip strokes, and I've got controlled rebound. It covers every motion that I need to play snare drum, except for roll types, which we'll cover in another video.